Good morning, River of Life. As we come to an end of our series, Living Like Jesus, it's been wonderful just to look back uh, over these couple of weeks and to look at the, the gospel messages and the stories we know so well and to just reflect on this is the way that Jesus lived and that we are encouraged to live in the same way. Our last thought is the thought of surrender and, and really it sort of ties everything together because even from birth, Jesus surrendered his life, he became humble, he humbled himself. Then he says he became obedient even to death on a cross, showing his ultimate surrender of his life and laying down his life for his friends. And we see this incredible picture of Jesus coming not to live for himself, but to live for others. And I want to encourage you as you continue to ponder on these stories of Jesus that you would see all of these themes running through it, how he humbled himself, how he was obedient, he was a servant, he forgave, he was dependent upon God, but also some of the incredible things that happened with that, that the miraculous, we have access to that, we have access to his victory. And all of these themes sort of tie in together and they form this beautiful picture of the life of Jesus. I'm going to read you Romans 6 and verse 13, it says, do not let any part of your body become an instrument of evil to serve sin. Instead, give yourselves completely to God, for you work dead, but now you have new life. So use your whole body as an instrument to do what is right for the glory of God. It talks about our complete surrender, giving ourselves completely to God. And my prayer is that as the Holy Spirit continues to remind you of the life of Jesus, that he would continue to show you where you can live in surrender and how you can increase your surrender to that which he's called you for, your purpose in life, but also to him, to serve him, to honor him in every moment of every day. Let's pray together. Jesus, we thank you for coming to earth, for surrendering your life, surrendering your position, laying it down so that ultimately through that work, on the cross, we can have access to the Father. But thank you that from that place, you empower us to also lay down our lives and to live not for ourselves, but to live firstly for you and then to live for others around us. And we pray that you would strengthen us and that you would lead us through your Holy Spirit. And we thank you for that in the wonderful name of Jesus. May you continue to live in the same way that Jesus lived.